With Britain's Got Talents returning in less than one week away, I've decided to go ahead and share with you some of the acts I would like to, to see competing for this year's Britain's Got Talent and like and kind of like give my opinion on them and kind of like give like a little kind of basically kind of talking about like some of the acts I want I want to see compete this year for Britain's Got Talent. Now just to clarify, some of them I've seen on YouTube and the others I've seen on Got other Got Talent shows. So just keep that in mind. But without further ado, let's get into this. So yes, I, I, so firstly, I'd just like to start off by saying that Britain's Got Talent is finally returning. Honestly, it's been a a, a whole year worth waiting for. Honestly, I I, I loved the last year of Britain's Got Talent. Um, you know, I thought the talent was fantastic that year. So an um an interesting final last year, I must admit. I feel like certain acts that I think definitely deserve to be in the final should have been there, like. John's bo- like John's Boys, the Welsh Choir, MB14, just to name a few. But um, today, um, now as Britain's Got Time will be returning this week, no, no, next week actually, next Saturday at se- the twentieth of April at seven thirty. Um, I'm a- I've actually decided and I've put together a little like kind of presentation to, uh, to share with you some of the acts I've seen. And I would like to see compete for, for BGT this year. Now, just to, as you can see, all the judges are returning. We've got Bruno coming back, Alicia coming back, Amanda coming back, and Simon coming back, as well as Anton Deck as well, because how, how can you not love Anton Deck? And I would also say it's actually the the final episode of Saturday Night Takeaway, because they said they're going to be taking a little break for a little while. So, But they're going to still be hosting I'm a Celebrity, Limitless Win, BGT. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, like the 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 other shows that that they do, they're all returning forward. I'm happy. But so um, yeah. So this is like I and if you're for those who guys are wondering, MSH, are you going to be doing performance rankings, predictions, reviews? You know, like you did last year. Yes, I am. One hundred percent am. I'm with. I am without doubt going to be returning to do my performance rankings each week. Each week, my reviews, my like early predictions, like I did last year. I did two of them. One in the midway round of the auditions, and the uh, the other one, which is not which I'll be doing on the Sunday, which is the day before the semi final. If that makes sense. So yeah, honestly, you know. Honestly, I'm very excited, for, really, for this year. Honestly, I couldn't be more excited. So this is kind of like split into two parts, really. So as I said, this is good. this is just based on cont- acts I've seen and I want to see compete. And then on, on on Wednesday, I will make another one, which is basically kind of everything you need to know and like some of the acts competing, which I found did some detective work, which I'll get into on Wednesday. So with any further ado, let's get into with this video because I think we've got quite a few to go through. So, so as you can see, Britain's Got Talent 24 acts I want to see compete this year. Um, so let's just get started. So now, um, these first two contestants actually haven't been on um, a Got Talent show, but they I've seen them do stuff. So I think yes. Yeah, so and one of them, one of them I've actually seen live actually. Well, not live, but out, outside busking. So, let's get started. So, the first act that I want to see compete for BGT this year is... If if it's going to work. There we go. So, the first act is Gavin Pring, who is, as you can see, who, who is a George Harrison tribute singer, or who or sings George Harrison songs. Now, for those who don't know who Gavin Pring is, he well, he's not really a celebrity, but he is from Liverpool. Um, and he's actually in a Beatles tribute band called the Fab Four, which is basically a tribute to the Beatles. And he has done some other stuff as well. He's done he's done some singing by himself. I think one of the first solo Gavin Pring videos I saw was him singing "While My Guitar Gently Weeps," which which was actually the the, the slower down version. Which I I'm happy to link in, in the comment in the description below if you want to go and check it out. But I feel like, well, I mean, it's not like he's Lauren Allred when Lauren Allred auditioned. So she was kind of like a big net, kind of like a big star, but she was like hiding in the shadows, I guess. 
But like I said, he's from Liverpool, and now this may sound really biased when I say this, but I'm at, but with me being a, a huge George Harrison fan, and I would love to see this guy audition because I think I feel like he could really have like his chance to really expose himself as like an artist, and in my and in my opinion. I reckon I've seen videos of him singing, like I mentioned, of him singing while well, my son generally weeps. Um while he's not like a power powerhouse singer like we like we've had over the years, like Sari Kumu, Travis George, Amy Lou, um, Paul Potts, just to name a few. Like, there's something about his voice I just think is really nice. And you know and I think while well, like like I said, I said this before like I've said, um his voice like I've said this before. His voice is, in my opinion, very good. But it's not, and although it's not like a powerhouse voice, it's, he's that type of singer I think that can definitely do well and maybe make the final, or maybe make at least make it far in the competition. Maybe the semi-finals are best because I think if he was to audition, I think Simon, Simon would have to maybe ask him to maybe drop the George House act, act because he might think it could be like a gimmick. Which I think I can see why, but I would love to. But I would, as a George Harrison fan, I would love to see this guy audition this year. So, yeah. Now the next act I want to see is a busker. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give too much away, but the next act I want to see compete is Andrew Duncan, who is a Scottish busker and singer. Now, little story time here, folks. But I actually saw this guy in London. Believe it or not, I saw this guy in London about two years ago um, performing um, in Trafalgar Square. Yeah, Trafalgar Square, as you can remember. It was near the National Gallery where they have a Nelson's Column. And he was singing Coldplay, um, Every Teardrop Was Waterfall. And what he was doing was he had a guitar and he had a, a loop pedal, a, like a loop station, and like way he would just use his foot to like, like, like um, change the, like press the buttons and like make loops, which I just found so you like, so, like so cool, because I think, like I've seen loads of people, I've seen loads of buskers, um, do the show. I mean, I mean, I've seen loads of buskers in London, but I, I actually haven't seen a, a busker. Like him, like using like playing guitar, you know, using a loop station to make like he's kind of like an he's he's like a Scottish Ed Sheeran in a way. But honestly, I love I been a huge fan of this guy since I saw him in London. I do follow him on his socials, so I don't know if he is going to audition this year. But I would, my goodness, I would love to see him take part this year. I will say, I'm just saying, but I would love to see him take part because I think I honestly think he could do well. I think. Because I think he he might be able to like, which is starting to clear my throat there. But you see these kind of like singers, whether they play guitar or they play the piano, and and sometimes with a backing band. But what? But I think what makes him unique is like I said, he 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 can use a loop station and he can like make his own band up, and it's just like so cool. I don't know why, but it's just so like I, I can't describe. It. It's just so cool. So yeah, I'm. He's definitely the one I'm wanting to see um, take part this year. So, yeah. Now, the next um, few acts have been actually uh, been on other Got Talent shows. And the next one actually was on America's Got Talent Series 17, which is back in 2022, AKA, a.k.a. the most competitive AGT series. And that is... The Bala Brothers from AGT Series Seventeen. Now, I um, for those who don't know, um, I absolutely love acts like the I love acts like the Ramadani Brothers, um, the Vardanian Brothers, etc., etc., etc. But what these guys do? They are a roly poly. No, no roller. Oh, what's it called? Not roly polies. Um, I, I I can't remember. It was a roly poly duo. Roller. Roller bowler, roller bowler duo. Okay, I I couldn't pronounce. I I said roly poly duo. I don't know why I said that. That sounds so childish. And basically, I'm gonna Google. It's basically got this board, and then like the bro, one of them will be standing on there, and then the other will be on there, kind of doing tricks, etc. And you, you they're like 
it's acts like these you would see like in the circus or like in a, in a maybe in a in like a in like yeah it acts, acts like these you'd see in a circus. But I think these guys are generally like variety, and you know we have I haven't seen a I would love to see an act like this take take part in BGT because I think. We don't really get these type of acts, I don't think. I don't. I mean, I think the closest we got was the Zang Brothers back in series twelve, which were basically a very similar version to the Ramadani Brothers in a way because they had very similar tricks where they would go up the steps and come down and it's, and use the blindfold, etc., etc. But I think these guys would definitely do well on the show, and I think they could definitely like. I'm biased here, but I, I, um, I just want to see them because um, I think they could definitely do, go far in the competition. Uh, let me check the next that is okay. Okay, okay, just double check because I couldn't um exactly rem- remember. Um, but the next act is from um who actually hasn't been on America's Got Talent, but they've been on quite maybe a few Got Talent shows. I think that one of them was. Bane's Got Talent, I believe, if, mem- if my memory is correct. They're from India, I believe, I think. Yeah, I think they're, yeah, they're Indian, I think. And that is Dance Group, Be a Unique Crew. As like I said, they are a dance group. And I think this, this is like a different um, routine. But um, they, they basically what they do is they are a kind of... A dance group and what they do is they use like like technology in a way and like like in one of them like they like uh, they're really they're just like like then i've seen them on like spain's got talent all stars and they are just like such a unique dance group because in one of their, their routines they have like a tv and they like put their like turn their head and it's like they're in and it's like they're in like in the the heads in the tv if that makes sense but like i've seen them and i think and i like i the first time i watched it i was just blown away because like i've seen them on spain's got talent but i think if they actually do get to britain's got talent or america's got talent I genuinely think that they could make the finals of this show. I genuinely think that because I think that it's like we ha- like I, we've had we have we've had loads of dance groups on this show, like to, to, to diversity, flawless, spellbound. Well, they're kind of like they're not a dance group, like like a gymnast group. But you know, DVJ. We've had um, Yo Highness from last year. We've had. Um, who well, I can't. I think diversity are the most popular ones because they're the most popular winners. But like, we have the the close the act I remember seeing like this was Tumor, was Tumor KR from Britain's Got Talent series ten. No, yeah, yeah, series ten. Excuse me. Yeah, which was like about seven years ago now, and which was the the series that Richard Jones won, the magician who was in the army, and so I just think. A dance group like this, I honestly think maybe honestly think I could see winning this show, or any or any dancer like this because I think you, like you see your traditional dance groups like like I said diversity, but yet you don't see an act like this where they like you like like, con, like contortion kind not contortion but like they do like it's just it's just amazing honestly these guys are just amazing and I just absolutely love them. Um, double check, okay. And finally, the act, the, the last act I actually have here uh, that I want to see audition for Britain's Got Talent 2024 is um, Moses Conkas, aka the winner of it- um, Italian Italy's Got Talent. Can't remember exactly what year, but he won Italy's Got Talent back in a few, uh, quite a few years ago. And funny enough, he was on America's Got Talent: The Champions back in 2020. So I think. That's which is I think is rather interesting. Now he is now Moses Conkers, he is a beatboxer. So but instead of like what MB fourteen does did with like he did with the loop station and you know, using his vocals and doing loops, etc. 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 He actually uses a harmonica. So he has like the 
he does the beatboxing and he actually uses the harmonica as well to like do it and like it's just like it's really cool and I, and I personally think MB14 is better. No offense to Moses Conkers, but like it's just original. It's just very. It's a very unique like act. Like it's a very unique kind of talent, you know. And this show is a variety show, of course. It's not. It's not all about singers. It's not all about dance. It's not all about magicians. It's about variety. And Moses, in my opinion, has is variety in my opinion and i really think he could definitely do well i'm not too sure if he'd make it to the finals because after what happened with mb14 last year oh, i'm not going to get into it i'm not look i won't get into it but i'm just saying i'm just saying i think had i think but i do think he could do pretty well and um, maybe make the semi-finals at best the judges choices but I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll soon find out once um once it comes round. So um there you guys have it. So this is these were my the acts I wanted to see. Comp I want to see compete for Britain's Got Talent this year. Now you let me know any contestants you want to see audition for this year and any other acts you want to see and and also just let me know all your thoughts. Who are you? Are you excited for Britain's Got Talent next Saturday? Because I'm telling you, I am stoked. And I mean stoked, stoked, stoked. Because honestly, I'm just like, I don't think I've been more excited because I've actually been finding out some information, which I'm not going to share right now because it's not like 100% bits. Like, I think I'm 85%. It's 85.9% sure. So, yeah. So, look, we'll see what happens. We'll, 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 we will see what happens next saturday and also stay tuned for um and um, we so on wednesday i'll be, as i said this is this is in two parts so this is just the acts i want to see on wednesday it will be like everything you need to know and i'll give you some some first look at some of the contestants auditioning for bgt this year not maybe not necessarily the first episode but well, you know but anyways thank you so much for watching this video if you did like it please like and subscribe with post notifications turned on i'd really appreciate it but for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time